carnivore diet can definitely change your emotions. And if you've got a problem with that, don't worry about it. Not what you think. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chad. I've been doing the carnivore diet for over three and a half years. Lost over 100 pounds. Totally reversed so many things from allergies to joint pain, inflammation. I can sleep early and get up early with the sun without an alarm clock. That's something I've never been able to do. Carnivore is truly life changing. And I hope you get the same benefits that I have. Now, about these emotions, I decided to do the video this week because, boy, what a week. Started out with on Friday, we were going to bring our car in for 40,000 mile service, but we went a few days before Wednesday to use it and the battery was dead. Called the dealer, said, Hey, I'm bringing it in Friday. The battery should be under warranty. And they told me, No, it's not under warranty. So rushed around to Costco, got a battery. But then when I brought in Friday, they were like, oh, yeah, we would have warranted that. No problem. And I'm just like, why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, you reached our call center and our call center doesn't really know anything. I'm like, why would you guys do that? You should have just patched me through to your grandma. She could have probably helped me more. But anyway, the battery's all fixed. I managed to return the new battery I bought to Costco, get it back and get my warranty battery. But that's kind of how the week started. A few days later, we're in Phoenix. Both our air conditioners decided to die. So our house was in the 80s. Called the technician out, and we found somebody we like, and we scheduled for them to be installed. Now, between that time and the install, my daughter was over to a friend's house. So my wife went to pick her up because it was a little bit after 10, and I'm usually in bed these days by 8 o'clock. Well, we had a freak storm come up here in Arizona. And as my wife was driving home with my daughter in the car, a tree fell and unfortunately landed on the car. Thank God they're okay. Very shooken up, but okay. As the tree fell, it was basically at the same time they were there. So the car basically rolled up over the first part and got stuck on it. And then the rest of the tree came down on top of the car, mostly just on the front end, luckily. So not on the cab and didn't break through the windshield. It did basically tear up the whole front end, the radiator, and some of the other stuff underneath. It's still in the shop getting work done. City came with chainsaws to get the car out. It was pretty bad. And the police were great. They basically had the girls in the car and waited for an Uber to show up so they'd make sure they're safe and they got home safely. But yeah, just what a way to start the week with everything going on. Of course, we were supposed to have a rental car because we only have the one car. And the day we needed it, no rental car. So just another one of those like, oh, just everything that just keeps dropping. Fast forward, we're here now. The air conditioners are in. Our place is nice and cool. We do have a nice rental car and the car is already at the shop, going to be worked on, which is great because most of the places were backed up. So life is good. But what does this all have to do with emotions? It's how I would have handled this before. I know I would have been raging inside, not mad at anyone in particular, just mad at the situations and just upset at things happening to me. And I would be taking this like huge. I used to get insane migraines all the time. And it's something again on carnivore. I have not experienced migraines since I've had it. I know I would have been beating myself up, had severe migraines and everything else beforehand. Now, since I love testing things, it would have been curious if this happened, say, the first year, the difference that I am now three and a half years into this and so much more healed. But I can say it is amazing to be able to just let this go. But to the detail of the accident, when my wife called me, obviously came out of sleep and she's like, a tree fell on us. We're OK, but the car can't move. And there's just all this stuff coming out of it and fluids all over the road. Now, I think before I would have kind of been in a little bit of a like panic and everything else. I can't say how concerned I was, but the second I heard, yes, we're all right, I really didn't worry so much about the car. I had this amazing focus to just listen to them and try to understand the situation and get through it. And that is something I would not have had beforehand. I think these are the things that just the benefits way beyond weight loss that just keep going and going and getting better and better all the time. Now, this mental clarity that we hear so much about from all these carnivore people, oh, I have this better mental clarity. To me, it's like cleaning your windshield. You now realize how much better you can see and you get a look back and realize just how dirty it was. I truly do feel 
like I'm back in my 20s and 30s with this island life, working on the boats, just this laid back attitude, just the no worries. Sometimes it's hard to define. It's almost something you have to experience. Whether it be you're reading something or even watching a show, you just tend to be able to focus so much more and get so much more out of it. Now, one side with focus is I have this issue called hyperfocus. If any of you have ADD, you kind of understand what hyperfocusing is about. You can't let go of things. It's a pro con. To me, there's some great benefits. There's also some downsides. I can focus on things and do really well and really strive to be the best, but often that means other things get neglected and put aside that need to be done. So this is something that carnivore again has been life changing for me where I now can literally take that thing that I'm focused on and I know I have to set it aside and then turn to something else. It's just impossible to tell you what this is like if you've never experienced this. It's such a life changing thing for myself. And I'm sure others, again, that have this issue would understand that. Now, it's little things like just working around the house. I have a very good routine now. I can get up, clean the kitchen. I'll tackle one task every day, whether that be putting in a new faucet, cleaning the pool, or just doing something around the yard, whatever else needs to be done. And it is an amazing feeling to just be kind of chipping away at all these things that used to just burden me to no end. When you get so many things that you've got to do, I often just find I get overwhelmed and then don't get any of them done. And again, I totally put this on carnivore because I know at 60 years old, I never had anything like this before, able to just say, hey, I'm going to tackle this and tackle it and get it done and then move on to the next thing or back to what my little hyper focus was about. I'm going to kind of veer off path a little bit here, which goes back to the migraines and this overpressured feeling. I used to have these things, and they call them floaters, eye floaters. Sometimes they look like little dust specks or things floating in your eye. I'm not sure exactly when they went away, but I used to have quite a few of them, and I have none of them anymore. I just really don't get upset at myself anymore. I just find myself quite calm, very rational, very easy to take things in. Yeah, sure, things still bug me, like the air conditioner and obviously the accident, but it's that ability to focus on them and not make it an internal thing and realize there is nothing you can do about those things, so there's no reason to get upset. This week is over. We're nice and cool. Carnivore is the gift that just keeps on giving. As I say, it's the fountain of youth. I do hope you can have the same benefits I have on carnivore. It is truly life-changing. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your story. Stay carnivorous, my friends. Ahoy ho.